Second race, well on Starman End, but he was coming a bit in the wrong direction. John at the port end, so it looks like John's going to get himself down over that line early. Paul's obviously going to be coming at him on Starman, so let's see what it all depends on what John does now. Looks like he might be managing to get himself over here. I've got to get out of the way. So John's managed to get himself out in front, which is good, just getting a bit clear. So it's just decisions right here now, but I'd still say Will's in a bit of a controlling position. Yep. Now what will Will do? Who's got the ball to get in this corner? John needs to slam that around there now. Oh, Will ticking out again in the corner. At the depth. Two minutes. Come on, John. A massive favour there, mate. You're gonna have to work at this. I, I don't really understand what your plan is right now. Quite lucky to have managed to stop him there. Right on on the dry brown. Oh, where's he going? Dry brown and have him again. He's not looking around enough. Will go. Will tricked him, I should say. So Will tricked him into going lower so that he had to laugh him and allow Will to be able to turn around and go. Will's got the upper hand now, just whether I don't know how much time there's in the clock left, eh? I wouldn't say long. That's it, they're off. So no rule infringement yet. Nice quick tack there from Will. Don't know why John did that. He should have carried on going and crossed him on top. Just to see what decisions are made here. Looks like if John tries to go, he's going to have a problem. Will looks like he's got the power. John's pinching too much, slowing down. his options. Not got many. Oh, infringement broken. Forcing Will to tap. Penalty, John. Can he get right to room? So John, after this one, I'll swap you on the pontoon, okay, to bounce alongside my rib. Yeah. I'll go on the pontoon, just tie up along, come alongside the rib, okay? <laughs> 